Now let's go to the Bible Council. That the hour is coming and now is. And, now, and when, uh, when the true worshiper will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. So the Father is seeking such to worship. God is a spirit. And those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. Let's try to break down this verse. We have come to worship God. We understand He is our Creator. And we are the worshippers, the true worshippers, God has called. And uh, the Bible tells us we will worship Him in spirit because God is a spirit. So when the Bible says worship in spirit, what the Bible means is this. Our worship must originate from our spirits that is created by Jesus Christ. That's a worship which flows out of the deepest part of one's being. So tell your neighbor again. Tell your neighbor. Worship in spirit means. Tell another one again. Worship your spirit means that worship which originates in the human spirit recreated in the Christ Jesus. Did he get it? <coughs> Let's repeat again. Worship in spirit means that worship which originates in the human spirit recreated in Christ Jesus. So listen. Recreated in Jesus Christ. That day when you were lost, you heard about Jesus, and you said, yes, I observed this Jesus. Jesus came in my heart. Jesus came in your heart. What happened to you on that particular day? You are your heart was regenerated. You became a new creation. You became a new Paul or a new John. A John who has Jesus. And because of that day you had Jesus, now the way you view Jesus is different. The way you view God is different. And now that exaltation comes from within. So you want to worship God from within. That's why we are calling worship. Did you get it? Did you get it? We may have people who are talented. They can stand here and sing. They can raise their hands. See how God is lifted. But the difference is this. If it's not originating from within, that's not worship. Amen. 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 So this means but in Amanisha, that worship which flows out of the deepest 
Kule kwa budu ambako kuna gerika toka milingini That deepest part of our being Ile sayemu ya dani kabisa ya umbaji wetu Hallelujah Hallelujah It doesn't come from outside It comes from the wind I talk it in the wind That's called wash Yo ya ito kwa budu Hallelujah Hallelujah And the Bible says Nibile ya sema The true wash us Ya kwa mba wakuduo wakweli You know the true worship. Yes, you know the true worship. Is there another one the true worship? I tell you another one the true worship. Yes, I tell you another one the true worship. And let us shout the true worship. Yes, the true worship. Why does the Bible use the word true worship? Why does it mean to me a man or a woman? It means worship has a standard. In a manisha kwamba kwa budu kuna kwa worship is not for everyone. It has a standard. A budu siyo kwa kila moja kuna kwa angu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's why when we are coming to worship, we should be objective about worship. It has a standard. And this sababu tunapokuja kwa budu lazima tuwe wenye kumaanisha kuhusiana kwa budu kwa sababu kuna kiwango. We know who sent us. Tunajua ni nani alitokoa. We know who helped us. Tunajua ni nani We know who healed us. Tunajua ni nani We know why we live. Tunajua kwa nini live on our own. You may get the gift of sins. Unaweza ukawapata waimbaji wenye karamu. When they sing they shake the nations. Wanapoimba wanatikisa taifa. But my friends they can't worship because their worship is not coming from me. Na kisa kisa kwa wesi kwa kabudu kwa sabu kwa kabudu kwa toka ndani. Worship on a standard. Kwa kabudu kuna diwangu. And the Bible says the true worshippers will worship. Na bibi ni sema kwamba waabudu wa kweli watakuwa ni magari wenye wash watakuwa na mbele grani ya kila mtu wenye wash na mungu na watakuwa and now shout wenye wash watakuwa ni magari wenye wash ili ni kwa matabudu stands for a decision of the will ili na sima mia ma amuzi ya mia you have decided no one is pushing you to wash Hakuna anaye kusukuma kwa budu. The Lord said you know it yourself. Bana alikuwa wewe wenyewe unatambua. You know you are a new creation. Unajua kwamba wewe wewe ni kiumbe kipya. You know you have the hope of a destiny. Unaye tumaini, unaye hatima. You know what the Lord has done. Unaye kwa kila mtu unatendea na kila mtu atatendea. And you decide. Na unaamua. It has to be a decision. Lazima iwe ni maamuzi. Of the will. Ya mia Will wash A decision of the will We know what to wash Najwa kila mbato tunabudu We know what to wash Najwa kila mbato tunabudu Jesus answered this woman at the well. Yes, I come to you, Jesus answered this woman at the well. Yes, I come to you, Jesus answered this woman at the well. Najwa kila mbato tunabudu This stands for a confidence because of the knowledge that you have. If in a tsunami of your city for Sabahu, you found to your now. Oh, remind your neighbor, we know what to wash. Musha Girani Akot, that you are killing a match of Nahu. Remind your neighbor, we know what to wash. Musha Girani Akot, that you are killing a match of Nahu. Remind your neighbor, we know what to wash. This stands for the confidence. In a tsunami of your city, because of what we know. What Sabahu is killing a match of Nahu. But you who know this God, your worship is different. It is based on your knowledge. How do you know this God? 
What has he done for you? With small miracles, don't know what it means to worship. People who have not tell what God has done, they don't know what to wash. But for you who know very well, I was perishing, but he picked me up. I was dying, but he healed me. I was nothing. He made me do something. No one will push you to wash And just says, yes, what I say, man. The Father ah, is man. seeking Anatafuta. such to worship you. Am I your neighbor? The Father is seeking. Baba the Father is seeking. Baba Anatafuta. So is God seeking for? Now I need to buy Anatafuta. The two worshippers, why that he be qualified for a blessing? And he says, they will worship in truth. They will worship in truth. What does that mean? It means that worship, which is best. In truthfulness, ukweli, or sincerity, and fashion, na according to the pattern of God's word. Amen. 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 The pattern of God's word right in the gospel of worship in truth. Is that worship which is best in truthfulness? Ukweli, or sincerity and his fashion na according to the patterns of God's word. In other words, is the worship expressed through the spirit, the soul and the body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm looking at the screens and uh, let me have uh, those projecting for us something to write. We've seen the worshiping spirit. It is that in worship which originates in the human spirit recreated in Christ. Jesus. It is that worship which flows out of the deepest part of what is What fills your senses? What a sound is? What a sound is? Amen. Amen. We are worshiping coming from inside. You've said the true worshippers. It means the either standard. It's not just careless. God is looking for people, a people who can worship. Will worship. That means a decision what will. We know what to worship. There's a confidence in our knowledge. And the Father is seeking means he can qualify them for this. worship truth is worship which is best in truthfulness or sincerity and is fashioned according to God's pattern or the pattern of God's word. So this worship which is expressed through the spirit, the soul and the body. Hallelujah.
They should unbound those hands and feet. So you can freely worship God. They can unwrap his face. So that the was Lazarus was released to worship God. Amen. Hallelujah. So the raising of Lazarus from the dead. It's really a powerful illustration of the raising of our lives out of the dead. And you ask me, I've never died. Yes, true, you've never died physically. But you are dead in your trespasses, in your sins. You are dead in the things of God. But, but, but the Lord raised you. So when He raised you, He ordered you to be unbound, to be unwrapped, so you may freely worship God. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor you are saved to worship. Tell them you are saved to worship. Tell them again you are saved to worship. So when we are reading the gospel, especially the gospel of John, the, the message of the miracles of Jesus, there are always signs to teach us something. That have a spiritual significance. They found the spiritual truth and lessons. So, in other words, from this miracle of Lazarus, the Lord is teaching us that when we are born again, there are three areas God wants to cleanse us and liberate us. He's liberating our mouth to the worship God. He's untying our hands that we may worship God. He's losing our feet that we may worship God. The mouth should be unwrapped. The hands should be loose. The feet should be loose. And why is this important? Let's start with the mouth. And remember today we can just do the mouth, the next time we can do the we can do the hands. Exodus 15, 1 and 2. Exodus 15, 1 and 2. Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord. And spoke saying, I will sing to the Lord. For he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and rider. He has thrown, he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength. And my song. And he has become my salvation. He is my God. My father's God and I will exalt him. The children of Israel had been born for 40 years. I'm not saying four hours. I'm not saying 40 days. 
miracle. And they went through the sea. They followed them in the sea. God destroyed them on behalf of the Israelites. And they looked behind. They thought about Pharaoh. They thought how the first ones in the land died. They thought about the first ones. They thought about the darkness. They thought about the sick healing of the creatures there. And lastly, they saw how he killed the enemies. And he killed them the of them. And they said, We don't have anything to tell God. We can only sing to him. And they began singing. And what was the song? They said, I will sing the Lord. Why he has triumphed gloriously. The songs express our worship to God. Or take again the songs of praise. Our praise to God. That's why people get healed when we are washed. You don't have to lay your hands on you. To receive the miracles. Many, many times I've been healed while I'm just washing. Many, many times I've seen God come to my special and I'm just washing. He has come through when you wash. When you see us sing, join us and sing together with us. There is a miracle in those songs. Hallelujah. 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 You may not like the church of the songs. When I was in the name. But join them. Like you know, join them. They got a miracle. One day in America. I went to another church and the, and the, the young, young people were singing these hip hops loud. They came to the Lord. They came to the Lord. They came to the Lord. I've never sung before. I was struggling to follow. But I don't know, I've just done it together with them. And those are the lady there close to me. She leaned to my ear and said, Pastor from Africa. Are you getting anything? I said, No. I said, I don't understand the words. What they meant. But I knew one thing. They were praising God. And if I wanted the blessings, let me also join them. And let us sing together. Even if I can't get the words clearly, let me jump together with them. Let me clap together with them. And I will also bless the people because of those praises. I will also be blessed. Hallelujah. I didn't care what I was saying. You know that people with a little bad spirit. <laughs> they are the agents of the devil himself. <laughs> because someone is singing. <laughs> and they don't like that person. <laughs> so when that person sings. <laughs> they keep quiet. <laughs> So they went for the French sea. So they the they don't never hope they know the word. Because only the agents of the devil do that. 
Kila mtu anakienda sana. Okay, kila mtu kinde maneno haya. Hallelujah. 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 Sing. We pray. We express our worship. Let it go. Psalm 47, 6 and 7. Zaburi, arubaina saba, sita na saba. Sing praises to God. We pray any one of these words. Psalm 47, 6 and 7. Zaburi, arubaina saba, sita na saba. Sing praises to God. We pray any one of these words. Sing praises. We pray any one of these words. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. That's the word of the Lord. This is our express of praise to God. This is our show of worship to God. We come to sing before Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to go to Facebook when people are singing. I'm going to check on WhatsApp who is communicating to you when people are singing. Join the band. Express the love to your God. The King of Kings. Psalm 106 verse 2. Psalm 106 verse 1 to 2. When the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, when He had liberated them, restored them back in the land, we were left those who dreamed. Then our mouth was filled with laughter. Then our tongues with singing. Among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. They didn't say the Lord has done for them because they are preaching. They didn't say the Lord has done them great things because they saw the things they were carrying. But they say the Lord has done great things because the time. Hallelujah. The Lord released miracles as you sing songs. Amen. 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 And now you sing as helpers again. Sasa na imba tuna da unorda ni tutu idea. You song leaders help us again. Ninyo wa imba ji, ni tutu idea tena. Don't give us the Dutchess for praise. Musitupatie Musitupatie uzuni kwa sifa The songs to mourn Musitupatie nimbo za kuhuzunisha Za kuomboleza Don't give us the songs Musitupatie nimbo That we sing and pity On ourselves Ambazo kuna imba na kuna jurumia Mas que ninguém possa mal pensar em tudo. Nada de mal pensar nas mãos do homem que sai de casa com ele. Sabe o que tu me engana tu consegue as mãos do poche? Mas que a passar a tocar o co. Quando ele diz que o homem passa na. Já dá já. A tua irmã boa na missão boa. Tu tem nada de bom. Wala mo pa lang kung hindi ka biyakin. Oh, nikiyo masan, abadunia, abuliwa, wala ni sumbo. Magawa pa nyo magawa pa. Sabi, yan ito ang photo ko sa baba ni Wanda Magen. Sa taki matui, sa Tak pun baru susu, tapi tu zaman ni pun tak boleh minum. Kita ni pun tak boleh farij. Eh, apa boleh malu tak boleh malu? Oh praise, baca praise. Boleh mukjizat mungu. 
Alafu kizikale pekee au kazi ndifanye mwenyewe au nijibie mwenyewe nikiomba sana hapo dunia adui zangu wanisumbua Kwa zunguka pekee hapo na madui zangu tumwachie kwa budu mungu wetu Wote tuimbe jambo kama Mungu mwenyewe Mungu wewe ni waajabu Mungu hatukufananishi hiyo ndio worship Tuna choose nyimbo. We choose the songs we are singing. Na unapoimba jua nyimbo gani za kumwabudu Mungu bali ngozi ngine. Yeah, when you are singing get to know the kind of songs you are singing because yeah. some you know, the kidlist of him of crusade. Sikio za kuimba kwa kuabudu. I'm supposed to be sung in the crusade not when we are worshiping God. Hallelujah. 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 You know what was it? Those who are leading us in Mwana, awape, neema, ya kujua utofauti. May God give you the grace to know the difference. Na uwe kujua utofauti kama uwe serafiki ya neema. And you cannot know the difference if you are not treating the world. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. You see, when a man is in the U.S. of Kweli, Kaimba kaimba mzuri na wale ndugu zetu wa sababu zangu Mungu akawapa neema. Nikasikia jamani tokio kwa nguvu yake nzuri. Mungu wangu ni mteja. Hapatikana niko mtandao. We want to express our worship to God. Amen. We want to express our worship, our praises to God. So friends, sing when we come, when we come together. Say we speak. We speak. We use our mouths to speak. Psalm 3528 And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness. And of your praise all the day long. Look at what the Bible says. Not only at the church, because we don't express only our praise to God at the church, it goes beyond the church. Use your mouth to speak. When you walk, speak the word of the Lord. In every situation, speak the word of the Lord. I tell you the truth here. There are people here. Who know our president William Ruto and Raila Odinga more than they know Jesus? They can speak more about these two personalities more than they can speak about their God. They know how they wake up, what time they wake up, what they do, they are scared of the day. They know even what is planned to do tomorrow. And they know where he will be in 2027. But they don't know what Jesus is speaking you know, about the life. Amen. Does that be worship in those politicians? 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We shall speak. Says, My turn shall speak of the righteousness. Not the politician righteousness. Of your righteousness. And of your praise all the day long. When in trouble, they know what speak the truth, how to speak to God in that situation. When they are in the good times, they know what to speak to God at that time. They always have the word for the season. Hallelujah. 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 Psalm 145, verse 10 to 11. All your words shall praise you. Oh Lord, and the saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power. We, we can see the work of the Lord everywhere. And when we begin talking about politics, my friend, you legend. <laughs> and anytime I turn scripture, this is the damn friends. Yes, you don't know what to say. So you let me control the, the, the talk. That's <laughs> Sing psalms to him. Talk of his wondrous 
what? Neneri kusiana na kazi zake kuu. The Bible commands us to speak of his goodness. We don't have the breath of speaking his goodness. That we can express our praise to God. Ivo ndio kuweza kwa Mungu. And let's let's finish with this one. Maja tumalizie na hii. The mouth help us to shout. Kinywa kinatusaidia kupiga kelele. Shouting, shouting. Tell your neighbor shouting. Tell your neighbor shouting. Wow, some of us didn't know shouting is a way to worship God. It's an expression of the praise to God. Psalm 5 and 11. But let all those Rejoice who put their trust in you. Let them ever shout for joy. Because you send them. Let us, let us also who love your name be joyful in you. Wow, wow, wow. Let them do what? Those who love God, let them do what? Let them shout the Bible commands. Let them shout. God is happy when we shout. In Psalm 47, verse 1. Shout to God with a voice of triumph. You are not just shouting, you are shouting with a voice of triumph. That when some was passing around here, they would hear the shouting of one or other happening. And I know for sure, God is in the midst. Shouts at trust the multitudes. Wewe wanaweza kuomba mara siku moja asubuhi anza kupiga kelele na upiga the the top of the voice. Dakika tano kama ni tunao kwa jambo hapo. Na kama uniamini ukitoka hapo na fanya experiment. Ndio fanya experiment. Amen. Amen. So the Lord commands us to shout. But looking at the scriptures, when did, when did the people shout? They shouted when they were going for war. They also shouted when they won the war. Amen. Amen. And also shouted when they won the war. I want to help you understand. This world is a battle. I don't know if you don't know if you don't know if you don't know if Kuzama, hey, hata kile na kanga na e, kila siku, yana mungu alipsaidia, our life, maisha yetu, is a battle every day, kila siku, and every time we shout, na wakati wote mbapo na piga kile, we are telling God come, na mami ya mungu njo, njo, come, njo. God gave me a statement. Every time God tells us, Behold, I am with you. Behold, I am with you. Sometimes we are happy, oh God, you are with us. We sing God. We need your peace. We don't have to be here. We don't have to be here. Just be here. What happened? To be for God to be here. But flip the same statement. Why did God here? 
The promise of God to go with us. Ahadi za Mungu za kwenda pamoja nasi. Is for us to give us the company. Sio tu kutupatia ushirika. Is to help us in the battle. Ni kutusaidia katika vita. He knows what we are facing every day. Anajua ni kitu gani tunakumbana nacho kila. He knows what we are going through every day. Anajua tunapitia nini kila siku. He knows the enemies that are coming against us. Na anajua ni wanaoiuka kinimechea kila siku. For him going with us. Kwa kwa yeye kwenda pamoja nasi. Is to help us to fight this battle. So what are shouting? Basi unapopiga kesi. We are still going to God. Amwambia Mungu, "Where are you?" Uko wapi? And when God hears that, he now keeps silent. He shouts, bring God. Amen. Tell the neighbor, shouts, bring God. Shouts, bring God. When we were growing up in the church, shouting was common. Hii generation ni generation ya Mungu wangu. Lazima tukae vizuri kwa kwanza watu wengine wana shida maskini wapigie kelele sana. Unajua kama kelele zingine na affect watoto tukisoma unajua these waves. Yaani kwa usomi mwingi na kwa hata kupiga vijana vile sikuizi. Wala mtani Mshaya kwa mtoto sikingine Mwili wa wanyani Ujuna kuna kwa kwa kila kitu Alamu from nowhere Umeke hapa Mwili kwa mdogo mwata pala mchala pala Ije kwa 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 mama kwa mumba And then a strange dog Ika chokezea What do you do? You shout You shout Na tuika ndo na pia kelele Hii kwa kelele Ufanya kitu mbili The main thing kwa kwa wewe kile kitu mbili nafanyika Number one, inafukuza ule umba. Right? Yes. Unapiga mtoto afumbua umba baadhi pale. Anaenda. Alafu secondly, mama kwa nyumba anasikia kelele ya mtoto. Na mama Mungu abariki mama sana. Kwa watoto elfu moja, sauti ya mtoto wake, mama anajua ni mtoto wa mtoto wake. So inaita mama ni nafukuza kuni. That's what shouts do in the kingdom. It chases away the enemy. And at the same time, it brings God. Amen. It chases away the enemy. And it brings God. Before God gave Before God gave Jericho to Israel, He told them to go around seven days. I mean, to go around Jericho seven days. And they go out shouting. But he said on the seventh day, go around seven times. And on the seventh time, make. of Jericho came tumbling down. He can give a woga what was Jericho. May I come let a mumba can give up the now done. Amen. Don't let the power of shouts. Who can see that Papa? Begin to let the mumba. Well, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, when Jesus was to take a mumba or what? Wow, taking multiple pole to pole. They, stra they strategize in silence. But for Kata Muteka, they go with noise. The shouts. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we use our mouths Amen. to do what? Amen. To sing. Amen. To speak. Amen. And to shout. And remember, not just shouting. The true worshippers, God has a standard. You know why you are shouting and shout loud. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You run to your church, you take dog. You don't let the wrong move up. You pick up a kelele. 
ili Mungu aingilie atufukuzie adui zetu. Amen. 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 Atufukuzie adui zetu. 